Hi, my name is Lee, and this is B. We love to travel, and we have very strong opinions. This is beautiful. So we took it upon ourselves to visit some of the highest rated places on the internet to make sure they were really worth visiting so that you don't have to. You're welcome. Not doing that. After spending a few days in the hustle and bustle of Sao Paulo, we took a 90 minute flight to Falls do Iguazu, home to Iguazu Falls. To get to the falls, go to the central bus station located downtown. Look for bus 120 which goes to Iguazu Falls and stand under the sign for the national park. A one way ticket is about 95 cents. Just get off at the last stop and you're there. The national park opens at 9 a.m. Here you can buy a general admission ticket for $17 which is the foreigner price. The price is almost half off for Brazilian nationals. Once you're in the park, get in line for the tour bus, which comes every 15 to 20 minutes. You can get off at any of the stops, but I suggest getting off at the Salto Floriano stop. You walk down the trail for a few minutes and then you get to see this. There's also an elevator that takes you down for a closer look. The Igazu Falls is a system of 275 waterfalls on the borders of Argentina, Brazil, and Paraguay. The falls have a width of 1.7 miles, which is nearly three times larger than Niagara Falls. Its height varies between 200 and 269 feet. Two thirds of the Igazu Falls are on the Argentinian side, while one third is on the Brazilian side. We'll talk more about the Argentinian side in a minute. During the rainy season, between November and March, the rate of water that flows over the falls can reach more than 450 cubic feet. Really out here. Get wet. Roughly 1.5 million people visit these waterfalls every year. After taking one last look, we decided to go to our favorite place, the gift shop. But not before seeing the official mascot of Igazu Falls, the Qantas. But don't let the plush dolls fool you. Qantas are not to be trifled with. If you keep moving south along the Iguazu River, you can see more of the 257 falls. If you have the cash and don't mind getting wet, you can pay for a tour that will get you up close and personal with the falls. Maybe one day when we're rolling in dough we'll come back and do that, but until then, we'll keep our distance. Remember earlier when I was telling you that you could see the falls from the Argentinian side? Well we thought that we would try it out, so we hopped on the easy bus, a bus that was conspicuously empty, and we went to Argentina. Then we got off the bus to go through immigration. We got back on the bus to go to the waterfalls, only to find out that we needed to pay a significant amount of money to have a tour guide get us back into the park. So we jumped back on the bus, went through immigration again, and took a bus back to our hotel. And that's the story of how we accidentally went to Argentina. Come back to our hotel and we find this little guy. If you have time to wander around, you definitely should. It's a small city that's characterized mostly by tourism, and because of that, it's pretty friendly. Sometimes a little too friendly. We didn't have a lot of time to take in the city, so we used the barometer we use to judge all cities, the food. And no matter if you're looking for a Brazilian barbecue or a place that loves dank memes and hip hop, Fosto Iguaçu has you covered. As I boarded my private plane to go back to Rio, I realized I was going to miss this place. I can't wait to come back and stay a little longer. Who knows, I might even get to see more of Argentina next time. 
We hope you enjoyed our trip to Igazu Falls. And as always, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and go to thejourneybean.com for more pictures of our trips. Thank you.